some chill on the couch with us. Welcome back to the couch here for 2012 and back with us again is our talking green fairy Cara back for 2012. Happy New Year. Welcome back to the couch. Happy New Year Fred. Thank you for having me back again. And it's isn't it warm? It is so warm right now. It's a glorious Perth summer day. It is beautiful here today. Yeah, we're soaking it up. So we're here to talk about happy lifestyles. Yes, and we were talking about, just before the break, we were talking about people who set New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions. That they're not going to put on weight or they're going to go swimming or they're not going to do something or other. And it never happens. It never happens. Well, you know, we start off with great intentions, let's face it, and it just fades out as the year goes on. So I want to update this. Mm. We're going to call it New Year's evolutions. Because, evolutions. Yeah, why, why, we don't want to resolve and we don't want to revolve, we want to evolve. So, so what do you think is achievable? What do you think people I should I think plan having, on? starting off with more positive set goals for me, um, I think words and motivational phrases are everything. So I believe when you say, I want to quit smoking, why do you actually want to quit smoking? Is it because you want to be healthier? Do you want to be able to run around with your kids and have the energy to chase after them? To so see the outcome exactly. rather than just do it because yeah. it's not good to do. Yeah, exactly. If you're focusing on the quit, well then what? Do you know what I mean? And that just seems like such a big, oh, it's difficult. But if you look at the positive of what you're trying to achieve mm. and have that as your motiv motivational evolution, then that to me makes mm. much more sense. I agree with you because a lot of people have an outcome where they, like you say, they want to lose weight. Yeah. But you say, why do you want to lose weight? And they say, I don't know, it's just... I want to lose do. weight. <laughs> and it, whereas if you say I want to lose weight because it's less strain off my feet and off That's my it. heart and it's cooler when it's so hot, I can be a little bit cooler. Yep. It gives you a reason to actually be realistic about it, it I think. Yeah, and it feels really good to have something positive hmm. to work towards rather than just that, oh, no, I've got to lose weight. And then you feel guilty every time. because every time someone it. walks up to you, they yeah. go, have you lost weight? <laughs> you say, yeah, yeah, I have lost, but you don't have them really. Yeah, that's it. Or if you slip up and, you know, have hmm. a donut for breakfast because that's what we do every now and then. Then you think, oh, no, I've stuffed up. But rather than being like, you know what, it's okay because I'm still working towards the goal. The rest of today, I'm going to be working on positive, you know, being healthy. So what's your advice? How so do So I've actually, I chatted to a wonderful friend of mine. Her name's Natalia. Fittica. She's a psychologist in Perth and she talked about goal setting, which is what mm -hmm. we've discussed, having positive goal sets and then goal planning. Now she discussed with me that all the people that we really look up to in the world have these in place, like your athletes, your politicians, your actors. So what they have is set out strategic places which they're achieving throughout the time. Mm -hmm. Now what I want you to do is write out your set goal and then write it as a 12 month plan and having it as a calendar, and you can put it up somewhere positive, maybe on your bathroom window or mirror, sorry, and having it there January. What I'm gonna do for January, I'm gonna cut back on chocolate. You know, if this was a, a losing weight thing, or I'm gonna cut back two cigarettes a week or something mm. like that. And as you're stepping away, you achieve that goal and then you rip that calendar month off and you've got your February So like someone place. like me, I don't walk a lot, okay? Yeah. So I maybe would put, I'm gonna to walk to the corner of the, the street. Yeah for the first month Perfect. and achieve it. And then next month it might be to the end of the road and then it could yep. be to the park and then yep. to the shopping centre yep. and build on it over a year rather than go, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get fit in, in a week. Exactly. It's not going to happen. It's just too, you know, overwhelming Is that because we that? set ourselves unreachable goals so we set ourselves up to fail so then we can say, yeah, oh, maybe. I tried, it, it might work. be a destructive thing. But, you know, like if you were going to drive to Melbourne, you know, you wouldn't just go, I'm going to Melbourne. You would plan the trip each step exactly. of the way and you would look at it. So you've got to look at it as a journey and mm. how you're going to go, what are your pit stops? And also you want positive marks to hit each time so you get to, to February and you're like, yeah, I've reached the park. And you feel really good about that because you've achieved something and you're on the way. And then you really do want to get going for March. So, and you I know. think having the 12-month plan is mm. probably be better than saying, I've got to lose weight. And no, don't have a clue when or how. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Achievable, set out goals. And also, along when you're writing this, write little motivation speeches. Surround yourself with people who you admire and who you feel are genuinely on their way as well. You know, people who put you down and maybe say, you know, oh, you're still smoking. You know, learn how to switch off and be around people. Go, oh, that's awesome. You know, come can out and do Can people get help? Things. Can they get help with this sort of thing? Because you were saying your friend. Yep. Can people contact people like her and they have do. some Absolutely. There's heaps of counselling places. Relationships Australia is one good way to look up if you're looking to to update your world, even just your local council support groups. And also go online, Creative Possibility Coaching in Perth is a female orientated one where you get really positive about doing creative um, steps towards achieving these goals. Reach out. I'm going to put a whole list of things on my website. If you look onto the couch website, thecouch.com.au, and look through the segment guide, you'll find me and I'll have a whole list of things you can look up. What's that together. website again, Karen? Thecouch.com.au. Thank you very much. <laughs> You've got big things coming up. You're off to Bali soon. 
Mm. I'm off to Bali soon and then I'm giving birth. Are you doing some meditation <laughs> while you're over there? Because what, do you, what does Cara, what does a fairy do when you go to Bali? In Bali, I want to get rubbed every day. That's what <laughs> Isn't that the way you got pregnant? <laughs> it's my way. <laughs> do you not think not too much more rubbing? <laughs> I am. I don't know. My partner will be off surfing. I'm just going to lie there and get Ooh. everyone to rub me every day. That's my motivation. It sounds like you're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Cara Walker, fair, car, fairy Cara nearly put me off there <laughs> with all the rubbing involved. Thanks for being on the couch. We'll Thanks see you next week. Me. I'll see you next week, Fred. Wonderful. That's Cara talking green. Check out our website for more details.